Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan and in this video we are going to see classification of roads. This is the topic from your subject transportation engineering 1. So let's see what is the how we can classify the roads. See the roads are classified based on many factors. The factors such as materials depending upon the materials we can classify the road. Which type of material is used in that road. For example bituminous road or concrete road even the murum road, gravel road. So various types of materials are used in the construction of that road. So depending upon that, we can classify the road. Then location and function, depending upon the location and function, we can classify the road. Then depending upon the traffic volume, depending upon the width, how much is the width of road, depending upon the economy also, then traffic type, rigidity and topography. But in this video, we will be focusing completely on classification of roads based on materials only and rest of the types will be seen in our next videos. So let's see how we can classify the roads depending upon the materials. See based on the materials what type of material is used in that road we can classify the roads first is earthen road then we have gravel road, murum roads, kankar road, wbm road that is water bound macadam road bituminous road, concrete roads. So these are the classification of road based on materials, which type of material is used in that road. So let's see first earthen roads. See earthen roads are laid with the soil. As the name says it is earthen road means the type of material used will be soil. So earthen roads are laid with the soil by using material soil and these are cheaper than all of the types of roads as we are just using the soil in the construction of this type of road so it is very cheap and this type of road is provided for fewer traffic areas on countryside or countryside areas means uh, this type of road as we know that this type of road you cannot use it for the national highway state highways or big projects so this type of road is used where we, there is a very fewer tra traffic so we can use it for the uh, this road at places where the traffic is very much less and a good drainage system should be provided which reflects excellent performance for a more extended period. If you want more lifespan of this type of construction of roads, then drainage facility should be very proper because this, they, there are chances of mud formation in this type of road. So care should be taken that the drainage facility uh, is very proper and you are providing a proper facility to drain off the rainwater, especially the rainwater. Then based on the materials, there is another type of road that is gravel roads. See, gravel roads are also low quality road, but they are better than earthen roads. If you are comparing this road with the earthen roads, they are somewhat better. They are quite better than the earthen roads. Then uh, how we can define this gravel road? Simply that road in which we, the material used will be gravels. And a compacted mixture of gravel and earth is used as a pavement material in this case. We can use earth that is soil with this gravel and we can make the road out of this out of that mixture. So gravel roads are those roads in which gravel material will be used and it is also a low quality road but it is better than the earthen roads. Then we have murum roads. See murum is a matter which is obtained from the disintegration of igneous rocks by weathering agencies. See, igneous is a type of rock which is formed after the cooling of magma or lava. So, that murum or that material or that matter which is obtained from the disintegration of igneous rock means breaking down of, uh, breaking down process of disintegration uh, after the form, after that disintegration we will get igneous rock. So, igneous rock we will get by the weathering agencies. Weathering ag agencies means those agencies or those actions which are responsible for the breaking of that rock or for the uh, which are responsible for the disintegration of rock. So murum is a matter which is obtained from disintegration of igneous rock and igneous rock is formed by the cooling of magma or lava and this is also a very low quality road. Then we have kankar roads. See kankar is an impure form of limestone. It is a form of limestone. Remember this and kankar roads are provided where lime is available in a reasonable quality. Obviously, this type of construction will be very much economical if there is a lime available nearby the site. So, this type of roads are constructed or provided where lime is available in plenty 
in nearby the site and the kankar roads are also low quality road and low performance road then we have wbm road that is water bound macadam road see water bound macadam road the uh, wearing course in water bound macadam road consists of clean and crushed aggregates the topmost layer will consist of clean and crushed aggregates in this type of road which are mechanically interlocked by rolling operation means the topmost layer that is wearing surface of this wbm road that is water bound macadam road will be made up of which type of material it will be made up of clean and crushed aggregates and they are mechanically interlocked means they are rolled by the roller and that rock that uh, road which is formed after this is wbm road the material is bound with filler material then the material will be bound with filler material filler material may be fine sand and then water is also added and laid on the prepared base course so the finally that road we get will be wbm road first what we will be doing we will be laying crushed sand which is cleaned sorry crushed aggregates which is cleaned and it will be laid by mechanical interlocking means by the rolling operation of rollers then filler material will be added so as to fill the voids then water will also be sprinkled over it and then it will be laid after the base course preparation the aggregates are spread on the surface and they are rolled after the sprinkling of water and wbm road see wbm roads provide better performance compared to ardhan road gravel road murum road and kankar road so all the types which we we have seen in the previous slides so it is better than that wbm road will pro provide better performance than the previous ones then wbm roads are laid as layers of about 10 cm thickness of each layer means one layer of this type of road will be about 10 cm thick and they are very rough and may disintegrate immediately under traffic if they are subjected to heavy traffic then they may get disintegrate then the next type of road is bituminous road see bituminous road consist of their surface with bituminous material which are also called as asphalt as asphalt is a type of bituminous material which is used in the construction of this type of road that is bituminous road so bituminous core bituminous road will consist of bituminous material and that bituminous material will be a asphalt remember this and it is a, what what is asphalt it is nothing but a sticky dark viscous liquid which is obtained from natural deposits like crude oil or crude petroleum see from crude petroleum or crude oil we obtain the asphalt and asphalt is nothing but a sticky dark viscous liquid and which is used in the construction of bituminous roads and this type of roads are most commonly used you may have seen this type of roads as you can see in the picture so these are most widely used or most commonly used in the world and this type of roads are low in cost and they are suitable for every dr uh, driving conditions and even the maintenance cost of this road is very less so this this road has many advantages so it is widely used in most of the world then the next type of road is concrete road see these are very pop popular but they are costlier than all other types of roads and they are not flexible remember this the type of road which we seen in the previous slide that is bituminous road and that is that is flexible road but this concrete road is known as rigid pavement we we will be seeing in this concept in our next videos or in the next chapters so these are very costlier and these are very popular one concrete roads but they are not flexible they are rigid pavement they are termed as rigid pavement so they are not flexible and they require less maintenance then concrete roads are durable and safe as we know that concrete they are more durable means the life span of this type of roads will be very much and they are considerably less prone to wear and tear the defects such as rutting cracking stripping loss of textures potholes that occur in the flexible pavements or bituminous pavements and concrete roads are suitable for high traffic areas we can use it for the high traffic areas so it is very good type of road and they are laid with joints and time of construction is very much as so they will require more time of for the construction of this type of road so at least uh, if you if you are considering that the minimum curing period is 28 days so you will be needing more time for the construction of this type of road so they are laid with joints and they are constructed with the joints there are there are various types of joints which are used in this type of roads 
the, such as cons contraction joint, ex uh, construction joints. There are various types of joints, expansion joints. So they are laid with various joints and the time of construction is also more in type of concrete roads. So this was the video about classification of roads based on materials. Thank you.